Hey guys, welcome back. Here we go. We're going to put the, the, I don't know, what should we call it? Hinge of the torso together. So these two pieces are going to go together. We're going to concentrate on the, the hinge area here. But before I do that, just to make life a little bit easier, I'm going to stick this um, closure in on the bottom of the cod. So we're about, what, half an inch up, roughly central. I've just eyeballed it. There's not a great deal to it, really. I've got my elastic. I've just put a hole in with the, uh, with the, with the hole puncher there. And... I'm going to put one of these rivets in so we're going to get that in here so we've drilled the hole about three and a half mil probably going to be fine so the rivet is through now we apologize if you're easily uh, if you're easily shocked because this is this is one of those jobs that People don't like too much so what we've got to do is split that rivet so it closes over the over the washer there so I'm afraid we're gonna to have to get a little bit brutal So I've just opened it up a little bit. Can you see that? We've opened it up a little bit and now we're gonna try and get in there and just hammer it. Can you see what it's doing? Can you see that? So there we have it. That's now, that's now riveted to the cod piece. So we're gonna use that to snap to the butt plate and that's what it looks like we've just got one nice silver stud okay it's much easier to do it at this stage before we've got two pieces that we're trying to hold and trying to whack it down can do it makes life easier that's why I do it anything for an easy life so the hinge it's what you've just seen we're gonna do the same again but we're gonna we're gonna put three of those rivets in this side and three in this side okay now we're gonna measure down we're about an inch from the top then we're about three inch from the top so we've got a two inch gap then we're four and three quarters of an inch down to the bottom so somebody in post might be able to do a really nice graphic for this showing inch three inch four and a quarter inch four and three quarter inch yeah you good i'm going in so we've got these measurements i can give them you again but we can put a graphic on screen if we need to i'm just going to shut up and get this drilled which Funnily enough is what somebody's mum said to me last night. So, I've translated those, those measurements so that it lines up, line it up across the top. So that's about where I would like to drill my hole. So I've already marked them on there. Now I'm gonna mark this, so I wanna do them about Getting on for 10 mil in from the edge. That's where the holes are gonna go. I'm gonna drill them now. Shut up and get drilling. Okay. So first job is those nasty, nasty rivets. Let's get them in place. So these don't come with any holes in, so I'm gonna 
punch the hole in my elastic. I'm going to get my rivet through the elastic. I'm going to get my washer over the rivet. I'm going to use my body to support it at the back here. And then I'm going to tap, gently tap, using a screwdriver, which is probably not the correct tool for this job, but works for me. Right, all we want is for those, those two sides of the rivet to split enough for me to get the hammer on it. Just go slowly and it will start to bend down. And that is the magic right there. Okay, so that's what we want. So we've got that nice rivet finish on the outside. We've got a piece of elastic now permanently, well, semi-permanently. It is removable. Attached to our, now we've come into the, into the sort of um, finishing stage of this. This is where tools are gonna become more apparent so we will start listing more on the um, on the Amazon page there other places are you know you can buy them from other places but at least you'll have the specifications of what we would we would recommend and we would use so I've got that split in there you can see that's what we want look coming apart Okay, two out of three ain't bad, but I'd much rather have all three of them done, so let's crack on. So I'm just manipulating that a little bit to get it open. Now, like I said, this isn't a job for the faint-hearted, and if you thought that was bad, wait till you see the next phase. I just want to... Uh, my, my rivet head there is not quite ni as, as nice as I would like, so I'm just going to try it. Blacksmith that into a bit more shape. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Next up, we've got this piece. Now I want this nice and close. So, first of all, we'll put some holes in. So, let's have a little look at this. <coughs> so I've put them holes in, but I want it a, a little bit closer. So, I'll put me a closer hole in. About there, these holes have only about me guesstimate there, maybe an inch apart. So ignore that hole, I'm gonna use this hole. So you can see how close they are. And the idea being I want the the armor to be pretty close together and this to be the amount of give that we've got. So this extra elastic that we don't need, we'll just cut that off. And if I cut that off through that hole there, it's gonna hide the fact that we made that hole in the first place. <clears throat> okay, now bear with me because this is going to be fun. 
So we want that piece on there. <coughs> so I'm using this little um, sort of anvil type tool to hammer down onto, not because I need it raised particularly, but more because we want something nice and solid on the other side of it. Watch your thumbs. And that right there is what we're after. Now, repeat that twice more. As I said, this is probably the most brutal part of your build. And all of the work that you've put into it so far on these two pieces is kind of in the danger zone. So be, make sure that you're confident with what you're doing. We don't want any injuries, we don't want any mishaps. So my rivet is... Oh, we've got a problem boys and girls, we'll come back to that in a second. So I've turned the rivet so that it's lengthways the same as the arm. There we go, right. Now, I'm not happy with that first rivet we put in because one of the tails has failed. So let me just remove that. tails have snapped off. Maybe I was a little, can you see that? I may have been a little overzealous. But it's not a problem. Because we've got one snapped off, it quite easily comes out of there which is exactly what we don't want, but to repair it makes life a little easier. So let's give that another go. If you're watching this and thinking, oh, he builds them every day and he's not managed to get, oh, not done the rivet right, don't worry. The last time I built one of these was maybe seven years ago. So this is not a daily thing for me. Block, block that from the camera. Right, last one. There she goes, stuck in the hole. Okay, last washer on. I'm turning that rivet so it's going that way. Oh, oh! Again, watch your fingers. So that is what I'm talking about. That's what we want. If I... We're gonna be something like that. 
you need to explain how this is for the original size, which is much slimmer than this. No, because it doesn't matter because I'm only showing that. And our hinge done. So there we go. I'm going to list the tools that we used. Hammer, anvil, block of metal, just something so you can bang against. And um, a screwdriver just to, just to open it up. So like a nice big Phillips, bigger than that is also good. And um, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's our hinge done. As I say, that's the most brutal piece. You're not going to find um, another part of the build that's more traumatic than that and that's it good to go all we've got to do now is attach the chest the back the butt plate and uh, glue glue a few elastics in and there we've got our torso built it's simple isn't it you didn't think it was going to be that easy did you now be honest there you go simple as that this is how we build stuff so if you need a kit you can get on the website If, however, you've seen this and you think, this is not for me and I don't have the time, don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff. All, again, all on the website. Just click through, choose your character. It's all there for you. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.